What are the two most important words in the wedding DJ language? If you said line dances, you're wrong, okay? It's backup. And today, I wanna to talk about nine things you should always, always, always keep in your DJ vehicle. What's up, people? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. So today, I'm gonna to talk about nine things that you have to keep in your vehicle no matter what. Never leave home without these. Let them live in your vehicle just like they live in mine, and trust me, one day, you'll thank me. By the way, I'm tired of watching all these YouTube videos that have a bunch of fluff in the beginning. I gotta skip ahead just to get to any of the good stuff, so we're gonna get right into it, people, okay? Product number one, fix a flat. If you could see it. There it is, there it is. Now if you don't know what fix a flat is, it fixes a flat, uh, it's what it does. It's got this little tube, you hook the tube up to the tire, right? If your tire's going flat, you got a nail in it, whatever, it'll fill it with some shit, it pumps up your tire, and it gets your tire good enough to where you can make it where you're going. And this is super crucial. Let's say you're 10 minutes from the venue, maybe even 30 minutes from the venue, and you get a flat tire, and you don't got a lot of time to spare, or you don't wanna waste the time, right? Put the fix a flat in there, pump that bad boy up, you're gonna get to the venue, you can load in, you could do the wedding, and you could deal with the flat tire after the wedding's done. I personally keep a can in every single car. I use the 20 ounce version, which is good enough for like bigger tires and whatnot. And you, you know, even if you like have a car with smaller tires, the 20 ounce will work for anything. I'd rather have overkill than not enough, right? I treat fix a flat just like I treat my sound. I'd rather have too much sound and just, you know, bring down the volume a little bit than not have enough, you know, and use, you know, one of those speakers that, you know, peak, you know, for big rooms, you know what I'm talking about? You could purchase Fix a Flat online or any store that sells like, you know, car stuff. Or I got mine off Amazon. I think I got three of these for 45 bucks. I'll put a link in the bio. Number two is an extra set of dress shoes. Now, I don't know about you people, but sometimes I forget shit. I've had to run to Kohl's many of times to buy shoes because I forgot my shoes. I just didn't put them in the bag. I left in a hurry for whatever reason. And I think keeping an extra pair of dress shoes in the car will pay dividends one day. And I'm not saying like buy a new pair. What I did is like I took like my uh, my black pair and my brown pair that were like getting like older, you know what I mean? Kind of worn out. When I replaced them with new pairs, instead of throwing out the old pairs, I just put them in the truck. They don't look the prettiest, right? They're a little worn out, but they're still dress shoes and they'll still get me through the wedding just in case I forgot my stuff. And this brings me to number three, which is a little similar, and that is a dress belt. Same thing, I bought a black and a brown belt to keep in my whip just in case I forget mine. It's happened before. I don't wanna look dumb without a belt, you know, and it's, it's cheap enough, right? 15 bucks a belt or whatever, buy it, keep it in the car. I actually keep both brown and black shoes and a brown and black belt all in one bag in the back of my truck, and that's where that lives just in case. Number four is Advil or Tylenol or whatever your poison is, whatever you prefer. Keep it in the whip. Not just for you in case you get a headache or something sore, but maybe for somebody else. You know, maybe the bride gets a headache. Maybe the wedding planner or someone. You, it's kind of clutch to have it on you and say, hey, listen, I got the drugs for you. And then you head out to your truck like you're a little pharmacist and supply the goods, you know? Just, I always keep it on me. Headaches happen in our industry, very important. Number five is a roll of paper towels. Me and Santi started doing this not too long ago and it is a major key, like a whole roll, like a whole roll of brawny. Instead of keeping napkins in the glove compartment, you know what I mean? Keep a whole roll. It, there's way more in a roll than there is in napkins in a glove compartment, you know? It works better, it's more absorbent, you get a spill, you gotta wipe your face, whatever. It just comes in handy to have paper towels. So I always keep at least one roll in my truck at all times. If it runs out, I grab another one from the kitchen and I toss it in there. So, do the same, trust me. Number six, tablecloths. Tablecloths come in handy. You never know when you're gonna use one, right? I keep a couple black ones, big ones in my whip. I may or may not have gotten them from a venue by accident or just borrowing them temporarily. I mean, I don't know. You can order them offline too, obviously, but they're really good to have because let's say like you have to hide a case, but there's nowhere to put it. Slap a tablecloth across it, put it in the corner, no one's gonna see it. It'll just be covered with like a black tablecloth. Looks more professional. I like to put like a black tablecloth over the back of my stuff, like behind my facade, you know, to kind of like just make, it just makes things look nice. It, you could always use it. And then worst case, if your paper towel runs out, you know, you could wipe shit on that. I, you know, that comes in handy too, but I don't know. I, I've always found uses for tablecloths in a million different ways. So I always keep at least two in my truck at all times. One side note though, make sure you don't buy the circle tablecloths, like the ones that are like in a circle because all our cases are, you know, square or rectangular and it doesn't work well. I did that by accident once. Like make sure you get like a, a tablecloth meant for a rectangular table. You know what I mean? Number seven, 
bungee cables. Bungee cables is another one of those things that has a million different uses. You never know when you're gonna need one to tie something down or to, you know, slap somebody across the face or whatever. There's a lot of uses for them and I always keep them in my truck. I actually got a 30 piece set from Amazon. I'll put the link in the description. I think it was like 20 bucks or 22 bucks or something like that. And it comes in a little like thing and it keeps them all in there nice and neat and you have different size ones. So you'll have a bungee cable for anything you could possibly need. Number eight, a toolkit. Just like with most of the items I mentioned in this video, lots of uses for a toolkit. In particular, I got this toolkit off of Amazon. I think it was like 27, 28 bucks, like links in the description, but it comes with everything. It has like a hammer, it has like different wrenches, screwdrivers, smaller screwdrivers so I can work on like my tone arms and my turntables, which is super clutch. And it has an Allen wrench set, which super comes in handy. Like, so pretty much anything you ever need to kind of fix, you know, with your stuff, it's good to have a toolbox with you. That's my favorite one, but regardless, I would keep some type of toolkit with you at at all times, just in case you need. And last but not least, number nine is a first aid kit. I have a Johnson & Johnson first aid kit, which has like the name brand Band-Aids and all that. It was like nine bucks on Amazon. And uh, it's got everything, you know, like goss and Band-Aids and sticks and, and Q-tips and alcohol swabs and all that stuff. In case you get a boo-boo, you're good to go. Now, if you're from down south or the Midwest, you know, Oklahoma, Texas or whatever, maybe just, you know, duct tape and whiskey or something, you know, whatever works for you. But regardless, have some type of first aid kit, whatever works best for you in your vehicle in the case of a boo-boo or an emergency. Well, that's it, people. That's the nine things that live in my car at all times. If you found any value in this video, do me a huge favor. Hit the like button down there. It would mean a lot for the algorithms and whatnot. I'm posting videos every damn day, pretty much. So definitely subscribe if you like what you're seeing. Huh? <laughs> that was terrible. I should record that or keep it in. Anyway, but regardless, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you at the next one.